Hi guys, Ian from the Football Boots team and today we're going to make a Cristiano Ronaldo inspired custom. We're going to turn a pair of his Superflies into a Juve inspired Superfly. We're going to have zebra prints, we're going to do hydro dipping, we've got the spray paint out, there's going to be gold, there's going to be pink. You guys are going to want to stay tuned and see exactly what we do with these boots. So, it's all about Ronaldo. We've got the stuff, I'm going to get stuck in. The first thing I'm going to do is make a decision between using his Just Do It um, Superflies from the World Cup an old CR7, but this is a previous um, Superfly, so this is a kind of CR7 thing we're looking at for a, a, a chapter or something like that, but we decided not going to do the old Superfly, so we'll chuck those out. Then obviously we had the original Superfly that he wore when they came out, or I was thinking that maybe this time around, why don't we do it on a kid's pair? So there's not a lot of difference in part from size between the adults and the kids, and there's a little bit more um, Nike skin on these for me to work with, even this to help me dunk them when we do the hydro dipping. So I'm going to turn a kid's pair of um, white just do it superflies into a Ronaldo Juve pair. We're going to have two different ones. So there's going to be the pink and the gold and the zebra print and it's going to look awesome. So guys, stay tuned to this video. Let's go do it. First thing I want to do is get the laces out of these. So let's get these out of the way. All right, so we're going to tape up this lacing area to protect that. I'm going to leave this all white. And also going to tape up the sole plate. Get my duct tape. Alright, so there is the sole plate all covered up. We're going to spray paint that later, but for now I want to protect it from the hydro dip. Moving on, we're going to do the collar area. Time to sort out these swooshes here, so I'm just going to tape up the area. Right, there you go, that's enough to cover up most and protect that side. Let's do the same on this side. That would do me. All right. Right, so time to take off all of this tape and we'll have a look and see what it looks like on here. Hopefully we're gonna have some nice um, gold swooshes. I have got the Sharpie here and I'm gonna use the Sharpie to put a little edge and a border on them before we move on and do our stripes. So this is gonna be a really nice little reveal, I think. You guys are gonna to have to let me know what you think about a gold swoosh on these. Look at that, loving that. And the other thing is this gold sole plate. Just makes them look so premium. Oh man, I could stop right there, couldn't I? White and gold super flies. Vote in the poll card now. Would you guys buy these? Have a vote, let us know. All right, time to add some stripes. So we're going to take our um, Ronaldo cutout that we're going to put on the front of the boot and um, I'm going to cut one out. Right, so time to apply our Ronaldo celebration to the toe box. What I've done is I've cut around that. Left myself with this sticker that I'm then going to put on, so we'll just leave that there. I just got to work out where I want it. Pretty much right over the toe box is the plan. See that? There we go. Right, so I've gone ahead and I've taped up this boot. You can see I've written white where everything's going to go, see our 7 logo. So I'm just going to peel off the um, black areas, because these are the bits that I'm going to paint. And we're going to leave all of this white on. All right, another bit there. 
So this is all gonna go black through these sections. So let's get onto it. Got a little tray, got an assortment of paint brushes, got some black paint, some black uh, leather paint, which is gonna do the trick for these anyway. And we're just gonna paint this on. Right, the question is where shall we start? And I think, let's start right across this toe box. Right, first stripe on. Time to move on to our next black stripe. All right, let's let this dry a little bit and we'll move on and do the back section, including the CR7 and Juve logos, which is gonna be the hardest bit, I imagine. Right, I've gone ahead and cut out my Juve logo and I'm gonna apply that now to the rear of the boot so we can peel that off and we can have a look and work out exactly where we want this to go. And I'm thinking, well, if we could fit it in to match to that, that would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? So that'll be a white Juve logo with the black around it. So now I need to move on and paint the black in these sections. And I've got my CR7 to go around here. So now I'm gonna cut that out and we'll put that on. Cut out my CR7, cut it here. And I'm thinking that we're gonna put it about here. Time to do a bit more painting. Right, I'm just gonna take a little bit of this green tape and I'm gonna put it all the way around the edges of this just to stop it stretching out when I'm dipping. I wanna maintain the shape so that when I put it on, it doesn't move and stretch, it's just gonna stay in its size. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do before we apply the paint is to remove these um, swooshes. So let's have a look at this one. And it doesn't matter about that little bit of orange that you're seeing because I'm gonna paint over it. In fact, it's useful for a border for me. So we can just paint over that, no worries. Good thing is that I'm getting the um, logo off really clean. Okay, so let's have a look at this other side. Maybe start up here. All right, so what do we think of that? With that, looks really clean there, there. Be nice to paint this up. So that's what I'm gonna do now, is I'm gonna paint these swoosh areas in this bright Tahitian pink. It's kind of a pink, is quite a classic UV color, so I thought we'd give it a go with that. Otherwise, I was considering doing a bright yellow. Obviously, that's the third color on the UV shirt this year. But um, yeah, we're gonna go with the Tahitian pink, which I think is gonna stand out really nice against this black and white. So let's get on with that. All right, so I've got to touch these up a bit, but look at those lovely pink swooshes. It's looking good. I can't wait to add Ronaldo to the toe box here, and then we'll pull off the rest of this, spray the sole plate. This is going to be a sick boot. I've gone ahead and I've put my Ronaldo figure back on the toe box here, 
and then I've just gone around with a pencil and I've just traced around the outline of him so I can fill in the inside of it with paint so I can um, peel this back and I've got the area for his celebration to go in here and I'm going to know how to put him on so we'll take that off and we're going to fill this in with the uh, colour changing paint which is going to look amazing so let's do that now first I'm going to mix that up, make it right so the stuff I'm going to use for the colour change is this solar colour dust it is pink or coral as it starts out but I'm going to grab this light here I'm going to bring it closer and I'm just going to put the light on it give me two seconds and now can you see how that's gone purpley in here and it's going to go purple on the boot so I'm going to get some of this out and we are going to do this transfer now so I'm just going to mix up a couple of bits of this um, and then into my tray and then we'll put in some um, some white leather paint and we'll see how we go so here's the white hopefully we get this really beautiful pink corally color Right, so the next thing we're going to do is add this to the sulfate. The first thing I've got to do is take off this old um, bit of tape here and we can find out and see what our sulfate is looking like underneath already. Then I'm going to have to tape up again to protect paint paintwork that we already have. Alright guys, so we have finished the customization. We have got the black, white and pink and the black, white and gold. These Juve Ronaldo inspired boots. So we've gone from a boot that looked like this all the way to these two finished products. Now, as you can see, I switched up and I made the pinks match. Obviously color changing is cool, but I think with this boot it is much more important to have that solid similar pink throughout the whole boot. So what is your preference? Vote in the poll card now. Let me know, do you like the pink version or do you like the gold version? Obviously with this one we've got the CR7 and the Juve logo. On this one we've got the celebration across the front and we've got all of this hot pink all over the boots. If I was to decide on which my favourite is, I'm going to probably go with this uh, one with the touch of pink. Talking to Blake, we were just thinking this really could be a boot that you could see Nike release for any player. It wouldn't need to be uh, CR7, especially if you take off that bit at the front. You could see this even as like a Nike ID option. These are like banging boots. Big fan of these as well though. Obviously the CR7 logo looks sharp on this and the Juve logo on there as well. Let me know in the poll card what you think and please let me know in the comment below any suggestions of boots that you'd like to see us custom in the future, maybe for other players, maybe Mbappe, Neymar, anybody else you want to see us make some custom boots for, we can do it. What do you think of these? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching guys. Go enjoy your football.